We're still in Iceland and we're going to take a uh, look at another update. Uh, we just got something popping into our application called Smart Lists. We've been waiting for Smart Lists for a while. Basically, the idea is that you can filter lists and then save those views. But what came is almost that, not quite. Um, so we're going to take a look at that. Anyways, we're in Iceland. We're very close to summer solstice. We're going to get about three hours or less than three hours of nighttime. Uh, per 24 hours. Actually, the sun doesn't really go away. It just gets gray and then it gets bright again. Kind of interesting, kind of crazy. But let's take a look at the video. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, if I go into sales orders, um, there is something called smart list. So if you go into more options here, there's a new feature called smart list just popped up. I'm going to click on that and I get this predefined smart lists up here. Uh, so if I take a look at item quantities, I get a list of items, um, their quantity of hand, purchase order, net invoiced, etc. Seems interesting. Let's take a look at um, maybe items by location. I feel like that's a pretty cool one where we can see if it's in a particular location so for example here i have the touring bicycle in maine and returns also in the black location i'm right now in the kroners database that's why i have these funky funky locations and funky items um, and customers with credit limit so i can see everybody who has a credit limit etc so so this is pretty interesting to get those smart lists in. Um, it, I think it's the beginning of this. So I haven't really seen how to create smart lists. So if you go in here and actually type in smart list, I don't get anything. So I think it's, it's almost like, feels like a preview of this functionality. So I'm going to dig around a little bit further. I know that Microsoft has been promising smart lists for a while. Actually, we're supposed to come in the April update uh, and then weren't delivered quite on there. So here we have smart list again. I was at the sales orders so we could see the sales orders. I get smart list here to see negative quantity items, etc. So not sure how to create the smart list. Um, like I said, I don't have any information about that yet. Uh, if I find that, I will let you guys know. So for example, here, if I filter something, filter the number by one, zero, 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 two, uh, one, one, seventy. Now it would be nice to be able to save this as a smart list, but I don't have any option to do that yet. But I believe that programmatically we can now create smart lists, smart lists with, uh, with development and just add them into the options. That's so I've been told. So until further information about the smart list, this is as much as you have. I have it on the sales order. I got it on the items. Guessing customer has it as well. Let's take a quick look. Yep. And they're just predefined lists. Not anything that we can change. So almost there. Obviously what we want as a smart list is to be able to create a filter on this and then save the filter inside the smart list. But that doesn't look like it's here yet. So we wait. Thank you.